Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship liked to be broken. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? And he said unto them, Take me up, and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea be calm unto you. So they took up Jonah, and cast him forth into the sea. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, and the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, for I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And the Lord God prepared a gourd, that it might be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief. But God prepared a worm, that it withered. And God said to Jonah, Doest thou well to be angry? And he said, I do well to be angry, even unto death. Then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the good, for the which thou hast not labored, and should not I spare Nineveh, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand?